Hi guys, this is Yannix. Today I will show you how to make cool and viral transitions for edits. I will start with something simple and finish with something difficult. So before I start, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Now I don't distract you anymore. Let's go to After Effects. First transition, it is just simple opacity transition. To make it, just put your second clip uh, under your first one like this then just select your first clip click opacity on your keyboard click on clock go to the end of your clip and put one a zero and that's it <laughs> this is best transition but i advise you to add blur to make it click here and create adjustment layer cut it to the length uh, of your clip like this you can also enable motion blur Go to effects and find BCC uh, lens blur or other blur, it doesn't matter. So add it to your adjustment layer, put zero, click on clock, go to the center of your adjustment layer and put eight or seven. And also for uh, this option put 1000 and for quality put sharp. Then go to the end and put zero and that's it. It looks nice, smooth and beautiful. The second animation, it is glitch transition. It is also easy to make. Create an adjustment layer, click here, new and create an adjustment layer. Cut it, use combination, control, shift, D. You can also enable motion blur. And that's it. Then go to effects and find glitch phi and add to your adjustment layer. Then put zero and here also zero. Click on the clock at the beginning of your adjustment layer. Then go to the center and put the value uh, whatever you want and uh, what you will like. For example, I will put something like this. Then go to the end and just put zero. And that's it. You have cool uh, glitch transition. You can also press U on your keyboard, select all these keys and press F9 to easy, easy them. And also look how it looks. Uh, play with uh, graph, with value graph, put it as you like. Third animation also looks like glitch, but a little bit different. You also need an adjustment layer. So when you create it, uh, like you did before, go to the effects and presets and find Omino, Omino Diffusion, add to your adjustment layer, then click on clock near error across and uh, go to the end and you can animate it like this. Press U again. Uh, press F9 and that's it. You have cool glitch transition. Uh, you can also uh, play with graph settings, uh, open graph editor and put it like this. It will be faster. You can also change uh, the color like this. Put here six. So this is it. Next animation is slide transition and it is more difficult to create. Uh, so to create it, put your second clip uh, where you want the animation. For me, it will be here. Then pre-compose it, click right mouse button, pre-compose uh, with these settings, press OK and also your first clip. Then you need to turn on uh, 3D on your uh, videos and create camera. Click here, new camera with 50 millimeters, press OK. Then also create a null object and cut it. You can also enable motion blur on your null object and 3D. Then connect camera with your null object like I do. Just click here and uh, connect it. And now you need to put your second video like I do, press P and just drag it to the right or to the left, it doesn't matter, like this. Now press P on your keyboard, click on clock, go to the end of your uh, first clip and just animate it. 
can also fix uh, the position of this and animate it and that's it but it is too fast you need to fix it uh, select your keys press f9 go to the graph settings uh, choose here edit speed graph and just play with this graph and put the value that you will like for me it will be 80 and 60 and that's it it looks nice and smooth but it is also too fast so i will drag my second clip like this and then select my uh, keys press um, hold alt and just drag it so it looks better next animation also will be slight transition but with uh, white lines and with text in the center it is hard to explain let's go i'll show you you also need to pre-compose your clips and turn on uh, 3d uh, on your videos then again uh, click here new and create camera with 50 millimeters and also create a null object then cut it uh, in your null object uh, turn on motion blur and 3d and connect with camera select camera click here and connect it with uh, your null object now you need to put your second clip uh, to the right or to the left or up or down it doesn't matter for example i will put it here and now you need to animate it click uh, choose your null object click p click here go to the end of your uh, first clip and just drag it just animate it like this uh, but then select your keys press f9 go to the graph settings and choose here speed graph and put the value that you will like or for me it will be 80 here and 60 here and now you need to create a white lines here and text choose pen tool and create white line hold shift and your white line will be straight like this you can also change the size of your white line for me it will be 20. I cut it uh, duplicate it press ctrl d your first white line precompose go to the effects and find uh, turbulent displays turbulent displays add to your uh, precompose y line then for size put 15 uh, open evolution options uh, random seed uh, hold alt and click on the clock and write time star and maybe five will be nice yes five then uh, precompose your white lines again and uh, turn on 3d on your white line and now fix uh, the position like this and then just duplicate your white line press ctrl d press p again and fix uh, the position for next white line like this and that's it you can also add deep glow on your white line go to fx and find uh, deep glow add it to your white line put the tick here put maybe 200 here and 0 0.6 100 here and smooth blending and also don't forget about drop shadow drop shadow at your white line put 100 20 for distance and 10 for softness and just select it press ctrl c select your other white line press ctrl v that's it and you can also add uh, some text in the center for me it will be just my nickname like this increase the size Align it like this and just put it under your camera and enable uh, 3D and fix the position. Like 
for example, like this. And that's it. Next animation, it is eye transition. It is really cool and beautiful transition. To make it, uh, drag your second clip under your first one, like uh, I did. Then you need to precompose your clips. Click right mouse button and precompose it with these settings. Press OK. And also your another clip. Enable 3D on your videos. Then create camera also 50 millimeters. And of course, null object. On your null object, turn on uh, motion blur and also 3D. And now you need to connect your camera with null object. Now you need to create a mask. Uh, choose your first clip. Uh, and choose pen tool then put uh, full for quality it will be easier to create mask put a tick here and just create a mask now you need to press ctrl shift and to duplicate your mask now you can put quarter for uh, quality press m in the keyboard and for mask one put uh, subtract and for your another mask put intersect you can also open your first mask and for um, mask feather put 15. And now you need to animate. I forgot that you don't need 3D on your second clip, so turn off it. Choose null object, press P, then click on clock, go to the end and just animate. like this so it is too slow and i need to create it more smoother so select the keys press f9 open graph settings and put here 80 and here 60 and that's it it looks very nice and i forgot that for all these transitions you need to turn on this option uh, your edit will be more smoother. And also, if you want, you can enable motion blur. And of course, your edit should be in 60 FPS. So in composition settings, put from rate 60 FPS. And that's it. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. I just showed you the most viral transitions. You can also combine them together. For example, create eye transition with glitch transition or with blur transition of opacity. Just play with it and create it uh, as you like. So don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your attention. See you soon, guys.